Monday, August 19th, 2013. One ounce of silver is $24. One Bitcoin is $120. Peace News Now is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and by you, the listener. Adventures in the free state continue. Robin Hood haters are getting parking tickets on purpose. The city of Keene publishes a photo album of Robin Hooders at work. And Ian Freeman goes from atheist to minister of the Shire Free Church. But first, Corey Kellier, creator of the Free State Solution, sat down to talk with Infowars.com Nightly News to discuss his documentary, which was entered into the Paul Revere video contest. It was a very positive interview, which will expose new eyes to the Free State Project. The idea of moving 20,000 liberty-loving people together in one place to get active for freedom. Corey's 20-minute documentary, which you can watch free on YouTube, covers the successes of free stater campaigns for public office as well as trials for civil disobedience. Recommended viewing for all liberty lovers. And if you haven't checked out the Free State Project yet, you should head over to freestateproject.org right now. Check out their sharp new website and consider signing the Statement of Intent. One such signatory, Ian Freeman of Free Talk Live Radio fame, has published an autobiographical post at freekeen.com. In it, Ian explains how he came to liberty, how he learned to relinquish anger, and how he attempts to live free today. I recommend everyone read it for an exclusive perspective from an insider who's been in the movement for a long time. Ian explains why he's giving up his house to the Shire Free Church. He no longer owns his house, the church does. This will have implications regarding the state people, but it seems Ian is mentally, physically, and spiritually prepared for any violence state agents will use against him for not complying with their taxes. My favorite passage is, quote, Stop fighting for liberty and just live free. Yes, doing so is scary. Yes, the state believers could lash out at you. Cognitive dissonance requires they protect their belief system, else they'd have to admit they've been wrong. No one wants to do that. You can try to vote your way free and do it the legislative way, and I don't oppose those methods. I just know it's going to take more than that. Courage and risk are required for liberty to advance. No slaves escaped the plantation by begging. As super activist Pete Ayer put it, there are too many on-point comments by Ian to share in just an excerpt. Give it a read and some thought. Do your own actions align with the world you wish to see? Are you still using dirty fiat dollars? That's money from the Stone Age. Jump into the 21st century with Bitcoin, the world's first decentralized digital money. Learn about Bitcoin at WeUseCoins.com. That's WeUseCoins.com. Davi Barker, the Muslim agorist and possibly the most prolific liberty artist, writer, philanthropist, entrepreneur, and entertainer of our time, is writing a novel in a unique way. Taking the form of several online short stories, Davi uses audience participation to help his main character, Max, escape from the dangerous, zombie-infested predicaments in which he finds himself. This story, while entertaining, comes loaded with well-executed allegory. As Davi explains in a blog post at dailyanarchist.com, quote, The key to the success in the zombie genre lies in their ability to tap into subconscious and unacknowledged fears that democratic government isn't working. He goes on, quote, Zombies are unique among monsters because they are a majority and acting one of modern cinema's most enduring themes, the triumph of the individual over the collective. Fundamentally, democracy is a means by which the majority live at the expense of the minority, by force if necessary, just as a zombie horde lives at the expense of the survivors. Zombie stories are not just about monsters. They are about the complete breakdown of government, utilities, and commerce. They're about surviving when the entire infrastructure of civilization disappears overnight. Just as zombies must eventually starve to death, nation-states that subsist on ever-increasing debt must eventually collapse. Read more from Davi Barker at shinybadges.com. Peace News Now is brought to you by friends of WeUseCoins.com and by listeners like you. Share this episode, catch us on the next news network, and send some Bitcoin to PeaceNewsNow.com slash donate. I'm Derek J. reminding you that peace is the way.